Hey man, he's, he, he was a Diddy player way back in the day too. Yeah. Like he's got to he's got to rep the character. It's Congo Saga, baby. Yeah. <laughs> we got to do it. Yeah, you got to do it for the fans, man. For the fans. But here we go. We're gonna get started right into it on Stadium. Man, that's always a, an interesting playstyle for Nairo that I've seen today. Like he doesn't opt for like soft resets or anything like that. He always likes to try and close out whatever opening he gets with like a bang, with like an F smash right, or right. like an up smash, something crazy like that, you know. Yeah, and he's, he's usually like looking to see what your reaction to is to that kind of thing. Uh, a lot of the time at that point, that's when people start to throw out those air dodges, make sure that, you know, they're not being hit by these uh, moves that Nairo is trying to like emphatically end his combos with. And then from that point, that's when he gets to playing scared and then he can capitalize on that. Right. All right, well, let's see. Okay, control with the banana peel. I like it. I'm trying to control the ledge with the monkey flip. Not quite working out in his favor, but... He's still gonna have time to charge. He's gonna make it back. Yeah, Nairo went super, super deep for that, knowing that he took his jump and uh, Rivers. Those barrels so maneuverable, especially horizontally. Yeah. Right, what's the optic? Okay, decides to give him some space. Makes him think he's gonna have space. Pulls out the peanut pop gun. That actually worked out favorably for him. Yeah, Rivers doing a great job of whiff punishing so far, and he's gonna take that first stock as well. Yeah, a lot of great control. Look, he just gives the space to Nairo. As soon as Nairo tries to move in, he goes in for it. But Nairo, a little bit privy to that, was able to hold shield in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least he's got the maneuverability down, so be able to keep up with the speed that Politana has. Especially with the space that she can control, you really need a great character or a great neutral to be able to contest that. And I think Diddy has both of the tools needed. Yeah, you really just need the patience to wait for Politana's options because they don't have a ton of lag, but they are punishable. Yeah. So when you can take advantage of that, you can get yourself into a good position like Rivers has so far. Yeah. Looks like Nairo especially having a lot of difficulty just closing out the stock. We're about to overlap to the point where Rivers can potentially close it out with a three stock to one lead at the moment. And the Z drops on the bananas have been crucial. You know, if he were to just throw the banana there, he would lose a lot of the... Whoa, where'd he go? <laughs> he just disappeared. Like, He's gone. This is a magic trick from the goddess, man. Yeah. Yeah, man, Rivers still in firm control. He's got a good percent lead, but this is kind of where Nairo likes to come alive. He's going to start focusing up. Rivers has got to be cognizant of that. Yeah, Keep there's applying the, the pressure. Control. Ooh, leg control with the banana. Oh, jab one into back throw. All right. I like it. There's gonna be a dash tag. Rivers not able to connect the up smash after the down tilt. Yeah, a little bit more difficult to land it in this game, but you know what? You can still do an up smash out of shield, get it, the same results. Yeah, it's the fastest up smash out of shield. Frame five. Oh, wow. Okay, dash attack, yeah, pops him up. And we get a quick follow up after that. Nairo right now has just got to play a little bit of catch up. He's not too far off, so if you can seal the deal, maybe right now, he's got himself some ledge control. What's he going to look for? Back air? Yeah, he was looking for a, a normal get up so that he could get a back throw. There it is. He gets it that time. Mm -hmm. The bait works on the second try. Rivers falls for it. Oh, just barely not going to be able to get explosive flame. Rivers getting yeah. the timing on his jetpack just right. And this is a good timing for Nairo to kind of take this stock. This is really where he wants it, but Rivers. Yeah, as long as he doesn't lose this stock, he can just continue to extend and extend this lead, and eventually he can get to a point. Oh, we're, we're stalling, dude. Yeah. We're stalling. Okay. What? <laughs> he held uh, just a little too okay. long. <laughs> okay. Right. That worked because he was above 150, so he wasn't taking any damage from the uh -huh, bubble, but right. it just, you know, <laughs> at a certain point, you gotta let go, <laughs> man. Yeah. Platform chase. Yep. Gonna get that in there. Take him all the way off stage. Nairo, jump. all oh. of a sudden, bringing this back around. Yeah, he just needs like one or two more interaction wins, and then he's got Rivers in a percent where he's pretty comfortable looking for a kill. Same time though, Rivers now getting close to that up smash percent, that down tilt can confirm as well for it. Okay, here's the back air. Putting him in a really tough spot. Yeah, just great control, and the up smash barely yep. makes it in. Doesn't get hit by any explosions from the barrels or anything like that. Plays it safe. And he's gonna close out game one. That trade was kind of wild, because you didn't actually see the beam of light come up from the up smash. That's right. how perfect that up smash was placed. Mm -hmm. So Nairo gonna go ahead and take game one over Rivers. Rivers showing a lot of promise though in that one. Yeah, that Diddy was definitely looking nice. Of course, Rivers does play Prom as well. I feel like that may not what he wants to go for, especially with how resilient Nairo is going for those edge guards. Yeah. So I feel like the maneuverable recovery that Diddy presents is going to be very useful for him in this matchup. And not only that, any time that Prom is forced to up B in this matchup, it's going to be rough. So the yeah. Diddy definitely staying out. Mm -hmm. Very nice parry. I, I feel like everyone's yeah. been parrying Nairo today, but I think that's just a curse of like Paul Tennant as a character because those landing aerials very predictable to figure out when they're gonna land. Not too much mix ups you can find with that. Yeah, exactly. And I'm, we're one year into this game. At this yeah. point, if you don't have that timing down, you gotta start working harder. Yeah, you, <laughs> you gotta do something about that, man. Yeah. Oh, just toss it at him again. I try to find something there. 
not quite gonna be able to connect. Yeah, these two are just gonna go blow for blow. Playing at the ledge here, just continuously con controlling each other. And I like Rivers backing off a little bit in that scramble situation. Something undervalued in scrambles is that a lot of the time people are afraid to reset. They want to find their hit, they want to get it. And uh, right there, Nairo is looking for that grab, and Rivers able to capitalize on it. Oh, I almost had a smash yeah, flashback that right hurt, there. That, that hurt a little did. bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, what a call out. Dang, all righty. Looked like the didn't look like the explosive light was gonna be anywhere near there, but you know just the maneuverability and the tech showing that you know you can cover a lot of options there. Yeah, it's great coverage because you go underneath him and you force him to pick an option. If he doesn't, you get the up air, of course. But you know once you force him to pick that option, then you can punish with the explosive lane. Yeah, Cairo, he, he's got a good lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now that he's got the lead, like guaranteed with a stock, he can start to slow it down just a little bit, force Rivers to try and maneuver something first. There we go, Z-Drop Banana. And it really just becomes how long can you hold on to the stock. You really just want to get as much mileage out of this as possible. Yeah. Because sometimes in this game, closing out stocks, not the easiest thing in the world, especially when you get them into that really high percent. you got to win the right positioning and Whoa. interaction. Ooh, all right. And it's very character dependent, right? I agree with that 100%. If he traded stocks right there, that was totally worth it. Mm -hmm. He's gonna lose a slight lead, but you know what? He's already making his way to the next stock here. Yeah, the fact that he's willing to go for it is the important thing. It means that he's got his head in the game. He's ready to go and you know make, like evaluate risk reward and you know act on that. As exactly. Well. I think when Nairo's confident, he's one of the deadliest players. When he's not confident, that's when you can start to open them up. But I think he's playing a lot better now. Feeling a lot more confident. Yeah, that dash forward, just willing to react to whatever Rivers was doing. Saw that he was holding shield from. Yeah, here we go again. Okay. Dude, okay. I don't um, know what's going on. I don't, yeah, Nairo's shaking his you, head. You too. can come back from that, right? Yeah, you can. R Rivers uh, not really showing that, but. Yeah, he's messing it up or something. Yeah. I don't know what he's trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, Nairo just about lapping Rivers in percent here. Yep, there we That's go. Big conversion off stage. No edge guard. Yeah, very nice strings, though, keeping him. Carrying him across the stage. I like Rivers going for the nair there. If he lands a nair at this ledge, he can convert it into a down air at the ledge as well. Yeah. And so, you know, Nairo's got to be cognizant of normal get up and get up attack. Just a simple fair, takes him off stage. What's the ledge play going to be? Let's go for a down tilt. That baits it out. Yep, going to go ahead and keep up the control. Okay, smart from Nairo, just uh, picks up the banana. Yeah, I like just going for the dash attack there. Nothing crazy, just take your damage. Ooh, gonna do it. Yep, it will. Very smart. W baited out the air dodge because he was expecting maybe the down throw into the back air. Yep. Decided to go for the explosive flame coverage instead. I mean, I think Rivers just running it right back. He's confident in his ability to take this one on PS2. Hopefully, uh, no more shenanigans underneath the stage. I'd like yeah. to see him just stick it out. Mm -hmm. He's lost. He's lost two socks from that already. Yeah. So I think. Enough's enough, you know. And I'm sure there's some kind of legitimate strat to it, uh, but if you're missing it twice and you're, it's costing you games, you might as well just yeah, move on. Yeah, definitely. Oh, Nairo on the offensive this time around. Really starting aggressive. This goes in before even Rivers has the time to pull out the banana. Yeah, Nairo generally likes to play this aggressive playstyle, really just to smother you, and then, you know, he's always evaluating what options you're picking out of this advantage, what options you're picking when he pressures you, and then he acts on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair. He's gonna go high, but he still is able to cover it just in time. Ooh, the rising explosive flame looking for another one, not able to get it. Yeah. This time around, Nairo's really staying close to Rivers, making it so that every time he pulls out a banana peel, he's gonna get punished. So he finally has the opportunity with that, but. Wow. Okay, so Rivers pulled the banana, and then Rivers was gonna go forward because he knew that Nairo was gonna try to punish him, right? Nairo actually just ran right at him, jumped over him, and took the banana like a yeah. boss. Like, who does that? Someone who's very confident in what his opponent's going to do. Just empty landing him to grab him back throw. He's got River scared. He's holding shield a lot. There's going to be the down tilt in the back here. River's able to take the first stock this time. Mm -hmm. Nice drag down. Close it out. Not quite yet. Okay. Look okay. Looking All for right. a reflect on the banana. Yep. There's another banana. Just gives it to Nairo. Nairo. Nairo's got the pressure at the corner. Oh, he I tried to push the banana into him, but it did yeah. not work out for him. Okay. Mm -hmm. One solid hit from Nairo here could do it. You know, a dash attack, a back air near the ledge, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, Rivers is uh, still climbing on the percent, so can we get the stock here? Not quite. Yeah, he's still on the chase. I feel like maybe Nairo's focusing a little bit too much on trying to get that last hit on Rivers, so Rivers is able to find the defensive options, gets around it very easily right now. For the ledge trap, it's the down tilt, that's just a reset. 
I love the jabs there. That's perfect. And so Rivers he knows he's dead. It's yeah, over. Yeah, that, that was smart. Great coverage there. And the barrels did fly up, but if they did explode, they are gone now. Not waiting for those anymore. Nairo, he's at a deficit, but not insurmountable. I yeah, mean, we, we saw what happened earlier, right? Yeah, especially with Palutena. You can get like a couple strings, get a ledge trap, and then you're back into the game. I like Nairo going super high with that teleport, taking advantage of the drift that Palo has afterwards. Mm-hmm. There's a grab. That's what so I'm talking about. Yeah, one string takes him to the corner. Now let's see how long the ledge trap's going to last, though. Rivers able to just kind of get right back in, but then he commits to a peanut pop gun all of a sudden. Yeah. Ah, I'm trying to find a mix-up He was afterwards. looking for like a second down tilt, and then he was going to get the up smash afterwards. Yeah. Okay, good wait. Ooh, I like the maneuverability from Nairo. Doesn't quite get anything. I think he wanted the ledge trump, but he didn't quite find it yet. Yeah, and that's confidence, though, to go for that. Oh, okay, re-grab. He's got the banana in hand, though. That's the back air. Gonna take it. Rivers. Trying to fight his way through. This, yeah, he's, he's still work. keeping this lead, though. And that's that's the Nairo, right? He, he, he plays defensively while being aggressive. Mm -hmm. Like it, It's that kind of in-your-face, you can't do anything about this right. aggr aggression that you know makes it that nobody else can touch him. Rivers really, really trying good. to bring Ooh. this back down. Can he close out the game? Yes, yep. he will. That's exactly what I was talking about at the end of that second game. Got to be cognizant of that Nair coming out, leading into that down air. Mm -hmm. Rivers staying alive. Yeah, definitely staying alive. I think Nairo got, <laughs> maybe he got a little too confident that time around. He really thought that he could just close out the stocks, keep up his aggression. Maybe just wait a couple of milliseconds more, and then you can get a reaction out of Rivers first. Then I might be able to help him out here. Game number four. I'm sure we're headed straight back to PS2. Oh, we're going to town. Okay. Yeah. Nairo switching it up on us. Okay. <laughs> Down Rivers, is, Rivers is just, he's winning the first interaction. What the heck just happened? Did he just up air out of Nair? That's what it looked like. Yeah, maybe he like smashed the eye downward or something like that. I have like never that, seen that in my yeah, life. Yeah, neither have I. Can't say I have. Rivers was able to open up on Nairo. Now they're kind of staying even. Nairo's got the advantage, though. Oh, he's uh, so lucky that that tech is perfect covered timing. It, yeah. yeah, perfect timing on the tech. Now Nairo with the banana just tosses it up, gets it out of there. And it is in play. He's got it for a ledge trap now. He wants right, what's it. the play? No, he's just going to throw it up there, looking for the bear. Not going to get it. There it is, though. Rivers trying to fight out of the corner, and Nairo punishing him with that back air. Yeah, it looked like a kind of a panic get up, so then Nairo was able to go in and just close it out with the back air. I think he was just scared that like, a lead trap was going to happen. I like that he reversed the Nair to try to mix up the DI. Rivers was all over it, though. Nice teleport cancel. I like that. Into the parry, too. Keeping up his defense. Down throw, up air. Almost getting it. Something like a back air near the ledge. Even a barrel explosion. You're right. A lot of stuff will do it right now. There's the up smash. Yeah, very quick. Try to mix them up with like a cross up grab or something, but it just didn't work out the way you wanted to. I <gasps> heard the aerial try to come out, but I guess Nairo might have, might have misinputted it or something. And Rivers is just like inches away from getting some of these combos that would end Nairo's stock early. I like that he's going for him, Nairo. Getting the down throw into the bear. And Rivers, again, he's just fighting out of the corner. Nairo's all over that. Yep. What's the ledge trap? I, I think he was expecting it, but... Yeah, he just wasn't... The timing wasn't accurate, that's yeah. all. Yeah, still on the chase. Trying to get around this. There we go. And the solid back air going to go ahead and take that, that next stock. Yeah, got to abuse those invincible moves, man. Might as well. Nairo not able to get a string going off of that. We're just going to stand for a bit. I don't know what's going on. I looked over to see if they were like talking to each other, but no, they're just standing there. <laughs> yeah. Another down throw. Ooh, Ooh run in with the up tilt. Yeah, okay. The slide too. Yeah, he tried to get an uh, extension too with the banana peel into like another aerial. Didn't quite work out. Uh, so I like the ideas that are flowing throughout this match. Nairo just inches away from taking this set. All he needs is that strong back air, that down throw by the ledge. Or maybe another crazy read. You never know with Nairo. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That, what? <laughs> that, that, that's that, crazy. I feel like that definitely should have grabbed. But yeah, you know, there's, what? there's some kind of sweet justice about Peltane missing that grab. Yeah. <laughs> it's like all things considered, that should have landed. But you know what? If the game just decides not, then it, it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. Nairo looking for that grab again, but instead Rivers getting the command grab, caught him on the platform, reaching. That's a you reach, I teach moment. Mm -hmm. 
Alrighty. One last opportunity. <gasps> oh! Who okay. does that? <laughs> looking for the dare. Really the looking dare. for it. Like, oh, looking for the reaction. I like Nairo waiting, knowing that he wasn't going to go up and do anything. But Nairo, he's, he's got to like stop the bleeding right now. He's got to just end this if he wants it. Otherwise, yeah. Rivers can start to make a comeback. There's going to be a down throw. Nothing. <gasps> oh! Whoa. Got around it this time. All right, Rivers, you got another chance. Forward throw? Yeah. Mix up. All right, recover low. Man, he, he's really keeping himself in this game right now. Yeah, Rivers is slowly coming back. His defense has been impeccable. Like, yeah. he's just really doing a good job of waiting for Nairo's actions before he commits to anything defensively. <gasps> but that falling Nair is going to do it. Wow. Nairo just fighting out of the disadvantage. Rivers had him in a combo situation, but just screw it, man. Land with the Nair. Yeah. Just got to be careful about that. I think he had like an air dodge or something in mind. So he was trying to and they're, keep going. And they're then. laughing and giggling about that. Yeah. That, those PS2 SDs. I'm telling you, dude. There's, huh. there's, I don't know what he was trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> M momentum cancel or something like that? I think he's telling him right now, like, I just didn't jump or something like that. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, you know what? Rivers goes out with a smile on his face. Yeah. So there's always that. So. Definitely. Good yeah. stuff to him. He made a run, dude. Rivers did a good job. Uh, Rivers was knocked into losers by DeBuzz after beating Kameme. Uh, so a good run from him. Unfortunately, the, the buzz said apparently like he got like footstooled accidentally or something like that, game five. Yeah. Uh, so that's obviously that sucks, but uh, good stuff to him. And he really kept that close. Mm -hmm. Like yes, he did. honestly, the way that went, should he not have SD'd those two stocks, I wouldn't have been surprised to take, see him take those first two games on PS2. Yeah, very true. Yeah, so I think our next match is, yes, is going to be Light and Zachary, it looks like. At least that's what it implies because they're coming to the stage. Sometimes production's weird. Sometimes they switch what setups are on. But yeah, Light <laughs> falling to losers to Gluttony. Yes. And then, or, or excuse me, Gluttony. Gluttony. And then Zachary losing to T, actually. Yeah, and he in, to get here after losing to T, he, had, he did have to beat Cola, a.k.a. Salt 1, earlier on.